In the previous lecture, we calculated the average power of periodic signal and we also saw what will happen to the average power on performing various operations on amplitude and time. Now in this lecture, which is part 2 of solved problems based on average power calculation of continuous time signals, we will solve two questions. The first question is having step signal, the second question is having DC value and we will calculate the average power in the two cases and uh, you will see the average power we will obtain in the two cases is finite. So the two signals which you can see here are the power signals and we can say that the step signal is a power signal and the DC value is also power signal. Now let's begin the calculation in the first problem we already know the formula for average power this signal here is non-periodic non-periodic signal because there is no particular structure repeating from minus infinity to infinity and for non-periodic signals the average power p is equal to limit t tends to infinity 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 mod x9 t square dt now to proceed further we need to set minus t by 2 and t by 2 and as we have already seen in the average value calculation lectures that minus t by 2 and t by 2 should have all the different amplitude transitions in this particular case there is only one amplitude transition from minus infinity to zero signal is zero and from zero to infinity signal is a naught so there is only one amplitude transition at t equal to zero and the transition is from zero to a naught so we will set minus t by 2 here and t by 2 here and between this period we have the amplitude transition now we can solve further limit t tends to infinity 1 by t inside the bracket from minus t by 2 to 0 signal is equal to 0 and mod 0 square is equal to 0 plus from 0 to t by 2 signal value is equal to a naught mod a naught square is equal to a naught square we can easily perform the integration the value of first integration is going to be 0 so limit t tends to infinity 1 by t inside the bracket when you perform the integration of a naught square you will get a naught square t i will take a naught square outside because it is independent of time t the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is t by 2 and from here the average power p will be limit t tends to infinity a naught square by t when you put the upper limit and the lower limit you will get t by 2 t and t will cancel out and as there is no term of time in a naught square by 2 we cannot put this limit t tends to infinity so average power p is simply equal to a naught square by 2 this is the answer of the first problem and from here we can also calculate the root mean square value the rms value which is equal to square root of power and in this way we have a naught over root 2 so we can calculate the average power and root mean square value for the step signal. In the last presentation I told you all the periodic signals are always power signals but here the signal is non-periodic and then also it is power signal. So it is not important that only periodic signals are power signals. There are signals which are non-periodic but they are also power signals. Now let's solve the second question here. In the second question, signal x tan t is always equal to a naught from minus infinity to infinity. Signal value is always equal to a naught. Therefore, this signal here is dc and we can calculate the average power in a similar way. Limit t tends to infinity and 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 mod x tan t square dt in the next step we will put the value of mod x tan t square t tends to infinity 1 by t integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 a naught square dt a naught square is independent of time so i will take it out so we have limit t tends to infinity a naught square by t integration 1 dt the lower limit is minus t by 2 
to t by 2 there is a no need to set minus t by 2 and t by 2 here because there is no transition of amplitude so we will solve it further and we will get limit t tends to infinity a naught square by 2 we will get t as the value of integration minus t by 2 to t by 2 this will give us average power p equal to limit t tends to infinity a naught square by t inside the bracket t by 2 this is the upper limit and now we will subtract the lower limit which is minus t by 2 when you solve this you will get the average power p equal to limit t tends to infinity a naught square by 2 multiplied to t t and t will cancel out and in this way we have the average power p the average power p equal to a naught square and the rms value the root mean square value will be a naught so this is the answer of the second problem and you can see the power here is finite this means the dc value is also a power signal now i will give you two homework problems the two homework problems are based on what we have learned in this lecture the first signal waveform is like this this is signal xt and you need to tell me the average power and the root mean square value the second signal is having the waveform like this this is minus 6 let's say the signal is yt in this case also tell me the average power and the root mean square value so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will solve two more problems based on the power of continuous time signals